Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing two healthy ragi recipes ideal to include in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipes. Into a bowl, I'm adding in one fourth cup of ragi flakes, also known as ragi avil. And I'm lightly roasting the ragi flakes. Ragi or finger millet is a whole grain and it is completely gluten free. It is rich in fiber and the high fiber helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time. Thus helps in weight loss and weight management. Once you start to see steam coming out, then the ragi is lightly roasted. So I'm going to turn off the flame and transfer this to another plate and allow it to cool down completely. Once transferred to a plate, allow it to cool down completely. While the ragi is cooling down, I am slicing 3 medium sized ripe chiku, also known as sapota. So I will just show you how I slice the chiku. I slice it half like this. And with a spoon, I just scoop out the flesh like this. So this is how I remove the chiku. 3 medium sized ripe chiku. Into my blender jar, I am adding in the sliced chiku. I have already soaked 8 cashew nuts or about a handful of cashew nuts. I have soaked the cashew nuts for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now I am adding the cashew nuts into the blender jar. Now you need a good source of healthy fats like cashew nuts for better assimilation of vitamin D in the ragi which is a fat soluble vitamin. So any good source of healthy fats like uh, cashew nuts or even overnight soaked and peeled almonds, nut butters, any healthy fat of your choice will be ideal. Healthy fats is a must for better assimilation of fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, K, E and D. For some extra omega 3s, fiber and protein, I'm adding in 1 tablespoon flax seeds. Again for some extra omega 3s, fiber and protein, I'm adding in 1 tablespoon chia seeds. For sweetness, I'm adding in a soft medjool dates. I prefer to use medjool dates in my recipes as they are soft and easily blendable. However, if your dates are not soft like mine, you may need to soak it for about 10 minutes or you can soak it along with the cashew nuts and then add it into the blender. You can increase or decrease dates as per your sweetness. Into this I'm adding in 1 cup or 1 glass of water. For flavor I'm adding in 1 fourth teaspoon of cinnamon powder. You can also use a small piece of cinnamon instead. And now I'm going to blend this until everything is nicely mixed and combined. I'll be using a couple of walnuts to garnish the smoothie. Just before serving the smoothie, add the roasted ragi flakes onto a serving glass and then pour in the thick and creamy smoothie. With a spoon, lightly give it a stir so that the ragi flakes get easily dispersed in the smoothie. The ragi flakes will give a nice subtle crunch to the smoothie Hence, it's ideal to add into the smoothie just before serving the smoothie. A little more smoothie left, so I'm topping it with the rest of the smoothie. I have a handful or five walnuts. I'm going to crush it with my hand like this and I'm topping it over the smoothie. And my super healthy raggy breakfast smoothie is ready to serve. To make ragi porridge into a saucepan, I'm adding in two and a half tablespoon sprouted ragi flour. Into this, I'm adding in half cup water and I'm giving it a good mix. Mix the ragi into the water really well without any lumps. Into this, I'm adding in one cup of water. So a total of one and a half cups of water is added. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. 1 fourth teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds and give this a good mix. Turn on the flame and allow this to come to a boil. Make sure that you mix this on and off so that the ragi does not get stick to the bottom of the pan. Another 3 to 4 minutes later the ragi porridge will start to thicken. 
the porridge starts to boil and at this moment reduce the flame to the lowest and you can see that the porridge has become slightly thick and now allow this to lightly cook on low flame for about two to three minutes make sure that you're stirring the porridge so that you can make sure that the ragi does not get stick to the bottom of the saucepan another two minutes later I'm adding in three tablespoon of grated coconut coconut is a good source of natural healthy fat the addition of a good source of healthy fat is a must when you're using ragi for better assimilation of vitamin D so do not skip adding a good source of healthy fat turn off the flame and give this a good mix and my healthy and instant ragi porridge is ready to serve pour the porridge into a serving cup and garnish it with a teaspoon of grated coconut and my super healthy ragi porridge is ready to serve you can enjoy this porridge with any homemade pickle of your choice as a meal for breakfast lunch or for dinner this is an excellent healthy meal to enjoy any time of the day so guys do try this healthy ragi porridge and let me know how it turned out thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye